Scorpio Risings May 2024 is an insanely positive month for manifesting a relationship that you may have been on the fence about or you weren't sure if it was serious and it looks like that is growing into something really, really positive. If you're excited to get into what we can expect this May specifically for you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I am Erin. I make videos about astrology, and I also have private readings as well as courses down below if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me or to learn more about astrology. And I also make music, so like, find me, stream me, all the things. And for a lot of the events I talk about in this, there will be full-length videos that you can also find on my channel. So starting out on the first, Venus is going to square Pluto between your seventh and fourth houses. Venus, being love and harmony, alongside other positive planets, are in your seventh house of relationships. So there is a huge theme of positive events and harmony happening in your one-on-one -on -one relationships. Maybe you're in a romantic one, maybe it's just your close friends. But with the square to Pluto in your fourth house, you could feel like your family is manipulating you in terms of this relationship. Then on the seventh, there is a new moon happening in your Taurus seventh house. This new moon is super positive, abundant, and uplifting, and there's a good chance that it is the commitment or the strengthening of a bond in a relationship that you have been looking to and hoping to grow. So this looks great. And on the 12th to the 13th, the sun will conjoin Uranus in your seventh house. This shows that your partner is probably acting pretty batshit or random. And from the 17th to the 19th, the sun will conjoin Jupiter in your seventh house. This shows that your partner or the important person in your life is probably acting with a lot of generosity or kindness or, you know, gifting something to you. And during this time as well, on the 18th, Venus is going to conjoin Uranus. So with Venus being love and harmony and Uranus being chaos, it seems that your partner is doing something rather kind, but random and chaotic that is really notable during the middle of the month. Then from the 19th to the 28th, Jupiter will sextile Neptune between your seventh and fifth houses. This is really awesome for the background of the second half of this month, showing that the expansion of the commitment of the relationship is helping you achieve dreams either creatively or romantically that you had wanted to do with a partner. Then on the 23rd, there is a full moon in your Sagittarius second house. This shows an ending or a letting go, for you, it's in your second house of money and income. So you're probably either selling something and making money or you are ending a job in a way of making money in a certain way. Then from the 22nd to the 23rd, the sun will trine Pluto between your eighth and fourth houses. Now there are things moving into your eighth house of finances. So the focus moves slightly away from the relationship into the money matters and specifically sharing of money or assets and more complicated money in your life. And with a trine to Pluto in your fourth house, it looks like your family or something with real estate is going well alongside these discussions. Then on the 22nd to the 23rd as well, Venus will conjoin Jupiter and the Sun between your 7th and 8th houses. So things are both going very well in your relationship and well financially, so they are probably connected. Then on the 26th, Jupiter enters your Gemini 8th house. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion and it will be in your eighth house for the next year. So money, specifically assets, investments, or things that you own with another person and not your direct income, but more substantial things, that is increasing and that is growing. And this may also show that your magical practice or your interest in the occult is growing. Then on the 30th to the 31st, Jupiter will be trining Pluto in your fourth house, showing that your family is probably helping you focus or something with real estate is helping you focus on these assets and making money. And we end the month on the 31st with Mercury conjoining Uranus in your seventh house, showing random or surprising communication happening with a partner. Let me know how you are feeling about this month so far, what your plans are and how this works with them and any thoughts that you have predicting how things will happen. Definitely comment down below and let me know. And now let's pull a tarot card to see what the other energy is that's coming up for you. The tarot card that we have here for Scorpio Risings this month is the Knight of Wands. So Knights are all about action and Wands are about inspiration and creativity. Looks like you are taking a lot of action towards inspiration and this could be with your partner. You're really excited to get things done that are shared goals. Hope that this was helpful and hope that you have an awesome start to your May ahead. I really like this month, so I'm excited to be talking about it with you all. Do make sure that you do all the things like subscribe. I know about 50% of you are subscribed. Let's get it closer to 100 maybe, little by little. Anyway, do comment down below if you have any thoughts or feelings about this May, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Oh,